generative AI is everywhere at the moment. Um, in every news broadcast, people are talking about the impact of chat GPT for Word or technologies like DALI for images. Now, the way DALI works is pretty straightforward. We give it a textual prompt and we can be as descriptive as we like or specific as we like, such as field full of sunflowers with a blue sky. And a few seconds later, DALI will produce a range of images to that theme. Now, critically, these are generated images, not images that's just pulled off Google Images, etc. So these are totally original creations or largely original creations. Now, of course, this has massive implications for the creative media. So should this leave artists quaking in their boots? Well, today we're going to have a bit of a look at some examples and find out. So today's video is super simple you'll see a range of images either generated by AI or a human artist. Your task is to decide which one you think it is. So here we go, image number one. 10 seconds starting now. So the answer is this image was created by AI, um, which I think is a pretty striking result. I think it's a pretty convincing looking looking um, piece of art. Now, interestingly, the prompt here was for a, a, a painting of King Sichuayo, Zulu King. And actually, it doesn't look that much like him, but I think in itself, it's a, it's a pretty nice picture. On to image number two, similar theme. 10 seconds, starting now. This one is artist generated. So it's a picture by African artist Japheth Moyani of a Mercy tribe woman from Ethiopia. Image number three, a slightly different style this time. our artist the answer here is ai so this one is arguably a bit of a trick some of you may have seen this image by vincent van Gogh, and it's clearly derivative of this a few other giveaways on the ai the teeth are really weird and also the way the cigarette floats under the top teeth defies physics on to number four Now I can see this image sitting on the wall in a nice warehouse style apartment. Pretty striking image. AR artist. This one is also AI. Um, now, again, one of the things I've noticed with these AI generated images is that often the eyes are a bit funny. And in fact, the eyes aren't bad on this one. But there's a bit of a weirdness on the right hand eye of the picture in question. Hope you're doing okay so far. Let's move on to number five. Now, I really like this next image, but again, AI or artist. This time we're looking at an original piece of art, this time by the photorealistic American painter, Dennis Wojcikowicz. Apologies for the pronunciation. Um, interestingly, I did try and generate images, something similar to this out of interest with, with Darlin. I didn't get something quite as striking as this. So maybe the artist shouldn't be worried too much yet. Now onto the final image of this test. Again, I really like this image. Um, I think it would look great on a big piece of canvas. It's quite obscure, the tree branches as a, or the tree as a person, but it is in fact an original AI generated image. I actually originally asked Dali to give me an image with uh, human shaped leaves, but it went for the, 
the trunk of the tree, which was kind of kind of cool. But I really like the output of this and again, think it's a really interesting picture in its own right. So there we have it. How many did you get right out of six? Please leave a comment and let me know. Now, I personally think these are pretty cool and many, myself included, would be happy to have these on their walls. Do I think they're better than human arts? Well, no, not quite yet. And of course, the DALI model is trained on human created images. So without that input, none of this would be possible. Please do like and subscribe or let me know what you think in the comments and I'll look at creating some more videos on AI and its potential creative impact.